Yeah, hello everyone. Myself Marathi, welcoming you all to this math video session. Right? In this topic, I'm going to deal with the trigonometrical sum. Little bit risky, but I make you sure that I can make you get it. So, what's the way to get into a trigonometric sum? See there in the question, cos theta minus sin theta plus one whole divided by cos theta plus sin theta minus one. And in the question, in the answer, we have 1 by cosecant theta minus cot theta. So, what's the way we are supposed to approach a question here? So, what's there in the question and what's there in the answer? We need to think on that. So, what are the trig ratios we have? So, we are having the trig ratios as the first one is cos, okay, and the second one is sine. These are the two trig ratios what we are able to see in the question, okay. So, what we are able to see in the answer, if you check it out, the, in the answer we are having something like a cot, Yes, cot is there in the answer. In the same way, we are having cosecant in the answer. See here, cot, it's there and cosecant, it's there. So, how to reach from question to the answer? What's the relation they have? So, that's the beautiful thing what we have to understand. So, we are using certain identities. Cot, can we say it is nothing but cos theta by sin theta? Right. Is it nothing but the quotient identity? Yes. Right. So see here, cot. How to move from cot, cos to cot with the help of this relation. Cos by sign, we can reach to caution. So this is the question. How to reach the answer? If you divide that cos by sign, we will reach get cot. Okay. Okay. In the same way, go for this one. What we are having? Cosecant we have. So can't I say cosecant is nothing but 1 by sign? Okay, is it not uh, something like uh, a multiplicative identity? Yes, yes, see here, right. So we need cosecant from sign. So can I say is it one by sign? Can we reach cosecant? Yes, right. Do you have one in the question? Yes, we have one in the question. So one by sign, we can reach to cosecant. Cos by sign, we can reach to cot. Both one is there in the question and the numerator, the cot, right? The numerator cos is there in the question and also one is there in the question. And what we need, we should have sign in the denominator underneath the cos, underneath the one. That's the trick. So what I got means, what is the planning means? Take this question, right? As we are having a sign in the denominator, sign in the denominator and sign in the denominator, right? It is dividing, right? What I'm planning means, let's divide the entire numerator and denominator by sign. Why? Because I need sign in the denominator, right? So what I'm doing, so dividing, right? Dividing, D-I-V-I-D-I-N-G, dividing numerator and denominator, right? Denominator by sin theta. So this is the given question. I need to reach this. So what's my plan? Let's divide. This is the numerator and this is the denominator. I like divide by sign on both the side. Numerator and denominator. Let's go for that. So cos theta minus sin theta, right? Plus one is already there. That is nothing but the numerator, right? I like to divide this entire numerator, numerator by sin theta. Okay, okay, but still the denominator is there, the denominator stuff, of course, this is the main line, what is present here and here. Now, what is the denominator there? Cos theta plus sin theta minus 1 is there, okay. I like to divide the entire denominator as I said by sign. Hope you understood what I have done. What's the need for us to divide means? Why? Because we need cot, right? Already cos is there in the question. If I divide that cos by sign, we'll get cot, point one, right? I need cosecant in the answer, cosecant. Already one is there in the question. If I divide that by sign, I'll get cosecant. So what I'm planning, I need both sign in the denominator, sign in the denominator. So what to do? Divide the entire numerator and denominator by sign so that I can get the sign in the denominator so that I can from there onwards, I can reach cot and cosecant. That's my plan. Good. Good, 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 good plan. Right. Now what I'm doing, the sign which is there, I like to split to all the parts of the numerator. So what you are having? Cos theta by sin theta minus sin theta by sin theta plus 1 by sin theta. That's the entire numerator. 
right so after dividing and splitting the sign for everyone in the denominator what do you have cos theta by sin theta plus sin theta by sin theta right minus 1 by sin theta so the sign i have given to all the three the sign present is given to all the three now what's the only logic if you check it out sine sign gets cancelled sign sign get cancelled so one time as you all know now so if you check it out cos by sign how to write that's what i said cos by sign why we are dividing to get the cot now so cos by sign i got it as cot that's the way we have what we want now cot theta minus sine by sine cancel we got 1 plus 1 by sine 1 by sine what we are waiting for but why did we divide by sine to get this cosecant yes 1 by sine I got it as cosecant theta that's the trick now of course whole divided by cos by sine we got that cot theta plus sine by sine cancelled 1 minus 1 by sine 1 by sine is nothing but cosecant theta this is what I am waiting for this is what I want I need in terms of cosecant cot so after getting cosecant and cot now play with that so do the calculation and do whatever you can do now what's the next one yes I got cosecant and cot done but if you check the numerator what's there in the numerator we are having one right means now here whatever is there present here we should change it and make it as one how to do you have trigonometry there yes we have trigonometry there so what is the identity which converts from trigonometry to a number and number to a trigonometry of course dealing with cosecant and cot you have to remember those are nothing but the square identities square identities are the things of course dealing with cosecant cot is nothing but square identity 3 that is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 means right if you find one we can convert it as cosecant minus cot square and in the same if we find cosecant square theta minus cot square theta we can replace it with one okay okay now where did you find do you have one in the question in the numerator yes we have one one there so what is there but it is in between the sum i like to push it to the corner so what i am doing cot theta plus cosecant theta minus one whole divided by cot theta uh, minus cosecant theta plus 1. You might have observed what I have seen. These ones I shifted to the corner. Now I am focusing on the numerator 1. Why? Because we don't want any trigonometry there and trigonometry can be removed, right? If we have cosecant square theta minus cot square theta, we can write it as 1 and if we are having 1, we can write this one. I want to focus on this one. Means in the place of this one, I like to replace with this entire formula only in the place of this. I am not going to touch the denominator. Why? Because we have trick in the denominator. Therefore, I don't want to cancel any trigonometry in the denominator. Therefore, I am writing like this. So, if you go for that, it's nothing but cot theta plus cosecant theta minus. In the place of that, I like to replace 1 with this one. What's that? Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta. Only the 1 I kept in the bracket and I replaced it. Now, the denominator as usual, you are having it as a cot theta minus cosecant theta plus 1. We didn't change anything there. So, the 1 present there I have converted as cosecant square theta minus cot square theta. Now, the next part, let's go for that so see here now cosecant square theta minus cot square theta. see see here we don't want anything here so i want to remove that so what i'm doing so if the question is in the form of a square minus b square can i convert it as a plus b into a minus b this is one more if you are having squares you can write like this by removing the squares in the same if you are having the stuff like this we can convert it therefore this is looking like a square minus b square i like to convert in the form of a plus b into a minus b so here it is nothing but cot theta plus cosecant theta right minus now this entire stuff let me write it down this is cosecant square theta minus cot square it is a plus b into a minus b of course the denominator cot theta minus cosecant theta plus one is already there okay what did i write so a square minus b square i like to write it as cosecant theta 
plus cot theta and cosecant theta minus cot theta. I have written in the terms of a plus b into a minus b. You have to remember now what I am doing in the next step. In the next step, cot theta plus cosecant theta. I have written as it is. Now the one which is in the bracket, I am writing like that. Cosecant plus cot cosecant minus cot the same stuff there is no change but what i have done I, I will get to you that is cot theta minus cosecant theta plus one what i have done means just wait for a second i kept a bracket here right and i made into one yes go bracket into one the same thing now nah. now i am planning for this fellow inside cosecant theta plus cot cosecant theta plus cot i got an eye on that so what i am doing that cosecant theta plus cot theta i took it common right i removed from here if i remove from here what is left over it's nothing but one and don't forget the minus there the minus and if i remove this one outside if i take this also as common what is left over with the bracket cosecant theta minus cot theta that is left over whole divided by what is there cot theta minus cosecant theta plus one already whatever is there okay hope you are able to understand now the minus i am taking inside that is cosecant theta plus cot theta i kept inside only right one yeah i took minus minus cosecant theta plus cot theta you can guess it minus into you got it now minus into minus you got that's plus now whole divided by what is there cot theta minus cosecant theta plus one okay so you might be thinking sir why did you do that now if you check this check it these two brackets can you observe anything same minus cosecant minus cosecant plus cot plus cot plus one plus one they both are similar i can cancel the entire stuff there okay if you cancel what is left over what is left over means cosecant theta plus cot theta whole divided by one is left over see here both are same minus cosecant minus cosecant plus cot plus cot plus one plus one straight away i have cancer now what is left over cosecant theta plus cot theta did you get the same answer no why because we are having trend in the denominator whereas we are having trend in the numerator whereas that is minus we are having plus row what to do just now i said to you wherever you find one you can replace with the square identity therefore what i am doing cosecant theta plus cot theta i kept in the same way the one which is present in the denominator i am changing it as the one i am writing like this that is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta again go back to the same a square minus b square is nothing but a plus b into a minus b that is cosecant theta plus cot theta whole divided by bracket into bracket that is cosecant theta plus cot and cosecant theta minus cot theta so if you check it out i think this in the bracket this can be cancelled so what is left over one by cosecant theta minus cot theta so that is what is required hope you are able to understand it's a tricky part but if you walk on you will get it thank you in this channel i have been placing both math and science videos 